I'm so happy to see you. I've missed you all. I'm telling you, uh, I've been wanting to come alive the last few days, but I just felt like I needed to rest and be quiet. Just be still before God. And today, finally, it is the opportune time, the proper and right time. And uh, the Lord is moving. <laughs> the Lord is moving all across the earth. So um, get ready for answered prayers. Get ready for your prayers to be accelerated before the throne of God and for your prayers to be received, to be heard, to be answered. We are in a season of great breakthrough. And I know a lot of us, maybe we're feeling broken down. Trust me, I've been in a weird funk myself the last few days coming back from Hawaii and after Resurrection Sunday. But isn't that just like the story of the Lord Jesus? After Jesus died and rose again, a lot of his apostles and disciples, they were in unbelief. Look at the story of Peter. He went back to fishing and Peter was downtrodden, depressed, saddened, and he felt like a failure. And the Lord met Jesus in John chapter 21 as Peter went back to his fishing. And uh, I'm telling you, there's a returning, a restoration, a reconciliation, and a rekindling of the fire of God. And uh, just like the story of Jesus, as we see in the Gospels, Yeshua died and he rose again. But many of his disciples did not yet believe. It took time for their faith to return. It took time for doubting Thomas to believe. It took time for Jesus to appear and to show himself strong, to show the marks of his side and of his hands. It took time for Jesus to go around and to convince, to prove, to show himself off to all of those that he loved and loved him. It took time. And I'm telling you, friends, we're in a season of great, great breakthrough. And I want to prophesy some things over you because I'm bubbling with joy. I'm bubbling with uh, glee, with expectation of my spirit because the Lord has met me. And uh, the last few days, I've been in a bit of a, I, I don't know if it's warfare, maybe it is. Because, you know, we have to break down witchcraft in the atmospheres. But uh, even myself, I've been in an unusual processing funk but the lord has delivered me from the mari clay who knows we need to pray for our prophets and for our ministers and those that are in leadership amen good to see you john miss you love you glory to god so i'm so elated that the lord has met me today and and uh the last few days <laughs> so yeah you can see it on my face i'm a little sun-kissed from the sun, a little sun kissed, but God is moving. And I want to talk to you today about the spirit of delay that's being broken. And I want to talk to you about prayers being accelerated and answered. If you're with me today, say amen. Friends, help me to break the 200 mark today. <clears throat> I'm here in Salem, Oregon. Wow. Somebody say, wow. Wow, wow, wow. And I brought the sun out here. Is Oregon is notorious for cloudy, gloomy, doomy. I mean, it's almost like the capital of Antifa. But a lot of spirit-filled believers, Christians in Oregon State, God-fearing men and women of God. But uh, we brought the sun. And uh, I had a great morning, great day today. Glory. Shika Ramata. And I'm excited to release the word of the Lord to you. Amen. So I'm here in Salem, Oregon. I'll be ministering tonight in a few hours, and I'll be ministering tomorrow morning and tomorrow evening in Salem. And then next week, someone say next week, I'm back in Grand Junction, Colorado. So come and see me if you're in the Colorado regions. I love what God's doing in Colorado State, what he's doing with us, glory to God. Super, super powerful. So come and see me. And then of course, the last week of this month, friends, April 27th to the 29th, we have our Open Heavens Power and Glory Conference. Well, myself, Evangelist John Ramirez, ex-Satanist, and Jake Hamilton in Orange County, California. Three days of massive, explosive, 
Open heavens, power, and glory. You don't want to miss it, friends. So that's going to be April 27th, 28th, and 9th. You can register online. We still have some VIP tickets available. And as well, if you want to join online, go ahead and register as well. And you can find all our events at benlamglobal.com. Amen. Prophet Ivan, if you could just copy and paste the Eventbrite link so I could pin it. Wow. Hello there from Japan. Bless you. Yolanda, good to see you. Chanel Jackson. Pastor Sharon. Penny. Amen. Evelyn Fisher. Evans Joy. Melissa. Thank you, Anna. Dee Dee. Oris Mwenda. Shanaman Dereduro Sata. Apostle Barbo, got to get to see you. Come on, I want you to lift up your hands. Lord, I thank you for the power of God that's being released right now. For miracles, signs, and wonders. Let your will be done today on this broadcast. And let every single person who comes on connect to the grace that is presented today. In your name we pray, amen. Good to see both of you from Albuquerque, New Mexico. Apostle Barbara, good to see you. Well, today I want to talk about accelerated prayers. My goodness. God is accelerating your answered prayers. And if you're with me today, give us some hearts and likes. And I want you to share this on your wall. First and foremost, friends, I want to share something. Hallelujah. I want to share something because this week, something very important happened to me this week. Something very big and important. And remember, the lives of prophets and prophetic voices, ministers, men and women of God, the Bible says God does nothing on the earth unless he first reveals it to his servants as prophets. What does that mean? It's not just revelation, but it's also a birthing. It's also a release. So many times prophetic voices and leaders, they get hit first or they go through tumultuous waters first before the rest of the body. Amen. So this week, something very big, oh, I feel the Lord. <laughs> something very big happened to me in my life. And uh, about two years ago, uh, there was a horrible attack against me in our ministry. Horrible, a horrible attack against me in our ministry. I'm telling you, slander, gossip, these leaders in uh, many of these camps that we love, that I love, and I still love, and I'm still a part of. So many leaders came against me and really tried to trample on me and uh, throw me under the bus. But this week, there was a complete full circle, complete full circle. And uh, the Lord's not letting me go deeper into this um, because I feel the Lord holding my tongue and releasing the gift, the spirit of self-control. But we are in a season of full circle. We are in a season where he's putting your enemies to rest. And he's saying, son, daughter, well done, for you have graduated. You've passed the test. And from two years ago to now, there was an outbreak of just horrendous, horrific things that happened. And uh, again, I'm not gonna go into the details, but literally trying to crucify me, Donald Trump me, you know, false allegations, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But from then to now, the Lord has blessed me, prospered me, used me even more, increased my territory. The grace, the anointing on my life, on our ministry, has literally tripled or even quadrupled. Amen. By the grace of God. And uh, this week, I ran into one of the people uh, at a place, at a restaurant. I ran into one of the people who are really accusing me and attacking me and coming at me, coming against me. False lies, bearer of false t tales, tale bearers, bearer of false lies. And I ran into this person and I knew that it was a full circle. I knew that it was a full circle because it's exactly around this time, two years ago, where that attack, where the accuser of the brethren tried to destroy me and crucify me exactly two years ago. Now, once again, I'm going back to the principle. Whatever God does, he does it first in the heads of leadership, in government leaders, he does it first. 
And uh, I believe this full circle in my life is a sign for you, my friends, for a full circle where God is causing you to feast before your enemies. And you're going to look at your enemies in the eyes. You're going to look back and they're not even going to be around because they'll vanish before you disappear like chaff in the sky. And you're going to realize how far the Lord has brought you. Amen. And I'm telling you, friends, God is releasing recompense. He's opening up doors in Jesus' name. There's a returning and a release of recompense, sevenfold return in this Passover Pesach season. And remember, Passover just ended literally uh, two days ago, Wednesday. It's an eight-day celebration. But I know I came into a full circle. What does full circle mean? It means that you have returned to the same place, but you are different. It means you have come full circle to a place where maybe you had an encounter with the Lord or maybe you had an attack or there was an unfortunate situation, but you've come full circle back to that same place and you've come back different. Look at the story of Nehemiah. Nehemiah and the Israelites returned back to Israel, to Jerusalem. And even though the walls were rebuilt, and it was not the same glory. The Bible says, do not weep for the joy of the Lord is your strength. Hallelujah. The glory of the latter house will be greater than the former. And they returned back after 70 plus years, I believe 70 years, excuse me, of captivity in Babylon. God is not a man that he shall lie. God is not a man. He's not a liar. He's the truth. He's the way, the light and the truth. And they came full circle back to their home, back to the place where it all began, Yerushalayim Israel, And it came full circle with letters from the king, with provisions, with favor, with victory. And it came back. So are you ready for the comeback anointing? Are you ready for a full circle season where God is going to bring your children back, your family back. God is going to bring back certain people who left your life, who attacked you, accused you. God is going to bring back, even as Jesus restored Peter again. He met Peter at the shores while Peter was fishing. Peter was sad. He was downtrodden, depressed, discouraged. Peter felt like a failure. He betrayed the Lord three times. And there was a full circle, a coming back anointing. If you receive it, say amen. If you receive it, say I receive it. Because we are in a full circle season. And it's always around April, which is Pesach, Passover, the new year, where we leave Egypt and we step into the promised land, where we get set free from the past. I declare now, God is setting you free from the past, from Egypt, from Pharaoh. God is setting you free to walk forth with sevenfold recompense, abundance, and blessings. So this week, I experienced such a major full circle moment. My goodness, I don't want to cry, but I'm feeling a little emotional because it's the goodness of God. And I want you to hear me. Some of the warfare you've been experiencing, some of the warfare you are enduring and going through right now, it's for a purpose. It's for a reason. Remember, God will always turn everything into good. And in fact, even into better. Because we are part of the covenant of better things. Somebody said, I'm ready for the better. And I'm ready for the greater in Jesus' mighty name. If you're with me today, I want you to say, amen. So I want to release that over you. Because as God does it in me, as the Lord does it in my life, and as you are connected to me in this ministry, as you are connected to this prophetic grace, that means that what God does for me, he will do for you. So I declare right now by the grace of the Lord that Jesus will release a full circle comeback anointing over your life today. If you're ready to receive that, I want you to say amen. I prophesy now a chapter is being closed. A book is being closed. And although a door is closing, a greater door is now opening in the name of Jesus. If you're with me today, I want you to give me some hearts and likes, and I want you to praise the name of Yah. Amen. <clears throat> Literally in the last few days, and here I am in Oregon, 
I'm in Oregon and I'm telling you, if I go into details, which I'm not going to, but if I go into details, you will understand how significant it is for me to be in Oregon right now concerning this full circle comeback season that I just experienced. Amen. I'm telling you, they tried to close the door on you, but God is giving you the whole building. I'm going to say that again. They tried to close the door on you, but God is giving you the whole building. It's just going to come to you. Their food will become yours. Their ministries, their buildings, their church, it will become yours. Because the Bible says, I will give you the gates of your enemies. You will possess the gates of your enemies. The gates of your enemies will become your gates. Can I get an amen? I'm telling you right now, today, by the voice and the word of the Lord, I declare right now that the power of Jesus Christ is going to come and break the back of every yoke. The anointing shall come upon you. He's a glory and the lifter of your head. And get ready for divine encouragement, intervention, and for breakthrough and for full circles. If you receive it now, I want you to say amen, amen, and amen. Now, if you can, please give us some hearts and likes and share this on your wall. I believe we can break the 200 mark. And now I'm going to begin to share the word, but I have to share that with you because I want to let you in a little bit into my life. Listen, I'm a man of God, but I'm also a man. Okay, there's things that frustrate me, things that will bother me, things that I will go through and experience. However, Jesus is king and he has the victory and he is ever so faithful. Even when we're faithless, he is ever so faithful and he's the one who brings us out and he's the one who delivers us. Can I get an amen? So get ready for full circles and for the comeback anointing. Well, I believe friends right now, we're in a season where delay is being broken. I want you to say delay is broken over my life. The spirit of delay is being broken in the mighty name of Jesus. Now, now some great doors open for me this week. I'm very happy. Some great doors open for me. Uh, a new door uh, in Malaysia opened up for me and I'll be in Malaysia. I'll be in Asia the whole month of August. Uh, a door has opened for me in Hong Kong. We're doing a crusade in Hong Kong uh, in the month of August. And uh, a number of things have opened for me this week which I'm very excited about, and all the glory goes to Jesus. Even earlier today, just two hours ago, I got off the phone with a mighty man of God. And uh, I'm not gonna share this person's name, but you're gonna be seeing some things very soon, amen. But even today, I got in touch with a prophet, a great general, a mighty man of God, and it's a long time coming. So things are shifting and things are moving. So a number of doors have opened for me today and even this week. But I sense so strong that we are in a season where prayers are being answered, where prayers are being accelerated. And God is about to answer your prayers, the burdens of your heart, the desires of your heart, the murmurings, the grumblings. I, I began to preach on Wednesday at Open Heavens World, my home church in Orange County, California. And I said, you're grumbling is going to turn into prophesying. The areas of grumbling, the areas of frustration is going to turn into a birthing. It's going to turn into a prophetic bubbling up anointing. So I believe that we are in a season right now where prayers are being accelerated and being answered. Amen. Now I want to go over to this passage. My goodness, I feel the glory of God. If you're with me today, I want you to say amen. And I want you to say Shabbat Shalom. Do tag somebody and share this on your wall. Here we understand the parable of the persistent widow. And the Lord began speaking to me that prayers, the desires of our hearts are being answered. Your secret prayer requests, the petitions of your heart. Let me ask you again. Have you been going through it? Have you been going through some warfare, some shaking? You feel like you've been getting tossed like a salad. You feel like you've been, you've been getting tossed on the waves of life. There's so much shifting and shaking. There's so much happening on planet Earth. 
in the universes right now in the universe. So much happening in the spiritual realm. But have you been going through the ringer? And the Lord began speaking to me, saying, son, I'm answering the desires of your heart. And I'm answering your secret prayers and the petitions of your prayer closet. So here, let's go to the word of God. Luke chapter 18, verse 1 to 8. Then Jesus told his disciples a parable to show them that they should always pray and not give up. Always pray and don't give up. He said, in a certain town, there was a judge, whew, Jesus, who neither feared God nor cared what the people thought. And there was a widow, say, say widow. I, I love how the Bible, I mean, with prophet Elijah and prophet Elisha, the stories of widows, hallelujah. A widow is somebody where their spouse has died. So somebody you loved and you married has died. So you're identified by death. And that's what a widow is. And there was a widow in that town who kept coming to him with plea. Grant me justice against my adversary. For some time, the judge refused, but he finally said to himself, even though I don't fear God or care what the people think, yet because this widow keeps bothering me, keeps annoying me, I will see that she gets justice so that she will not come back and attack me again. And the Lord said, listen to what the unjust says. And will not God bring about justice for his chosen ones who cry out to him, day and night, will he keep putting them off? I tell you, he will see that they get justice and quickly. However, when the son of man comes, will he find faith on the earth? Amen. Now we see here in this passage, Jesus is talking about the prayer of the widow, the persistent widow, that this widow never gave up. In fact, she was so moved and compelled by this urgency, by this ambition, by this passion, that she would continue to visit this judge. And this judge, this leader, did not fear God, did not care for the people. But because she was persistent, she had enduring faith. Because she continued to go back again and again, knocking on the door again and again, again and again, again and again, come on somebody. All of a sudden the judge granted her request because the judge said, I don't want to be bothered no more. I don't want to be bothered. So therefore let me give justice to this little old lady, to this little nothing, to this nobody, to this judge. Now friends, are you going back to the judge? Let me ask you now, are you going back or are you giving up? Are you praying? Are you pressing in? Are you praying until it breaks? Are you pushing until the water breaks? Until the baby's birthed? Are you pressing on? And I'm telling you, it's a fight. But we need persistency. We need endurance. We need to continue on in our faith. And here the widow continued to press on. And eventually the judge gave her the desires of her heart. I'm telling you friends, hear me now. God will use unjust people to bless you. Can I say that again? God will use evil and wicked leaders to bless you. God will use judges, people of position, power and authority God will use people who don't even give a flying flip about you to bless you, to encourage you, to uplift you, to give you what you need to go to your next level. I want to tell you, your next level is found in your persistency. Your next level is found in your faith. And I believe we're in a season right now where God is about to answer your prayers. Don't give up, friends. You're going back and forth. You're going back and forth, back and forth. You keep pressing, you keep knocking. You keep pleading and bringing your petitions. I want to prophesy now. Your petitions are about to be answered. Your prayer requests 
are not only heard, but they're going to be released from heaven above. This unjust judge, this wicked, evil ruler, God used this evil judge to bless this widow. Some of you are complaining. You might be sad and frustrated. God, I worked for an evil boss. God, I worked in a workplace company. I work in a situation that is constantly uh, antagonizing me, bullying me. Uh, I'm surrounded by people that constantly press and pressure me. I'm telling you, friends, if you stand strong and stand still, you have to do nothing. But God will give you the victory in Jesus' name. Look at the story of Hannah. Hannah continued to pray and pour out her soul. She was praying so much that the prophet, the priest Eli, came and said, you sound like a drunken woman. No words are coming out. You're just grumbling, you're mumbling, you're umbling, you're stumbling. But her heart was literally laid out and poured out at the altar like a drink offering. And Hannah said, no, my Lord, I am a righteous woman. However, I'm praying that God will hear me and give me a child, give me a son. And guess what? The priest Eli was moved by the spirit of God. And he said, by this time, you will have a child. You will have a son. Amen. And she named the son Samuel. God hears. And of course, you know the story of Samuel. One of the greatest prophets, he's known as a seer prophet, but one of the greatest prophets in the whole Old Testament. He literally saw the birthing of both kings, Saul and David, and he wrote, inscribed, uh, scribed some of the greatest books in the Bible. But you see, God is about to answer your prayers. Some of you are at a loss for words. Some of you feel like you're grumbling, mumbling, stumbling, umbling. You feel like you're all over the place. You have no peace. You feel like you're scattered. How many of you feel like you have a scattered brain right now? Like things are scattered. The ground, the foundation you've been standing on literally is a rug pool. What's a rug pool? A rug pool is used in a financial, uh, in the financial realm where they pull the rug out from underneath your feet. And as they pulled the rug, like some of the SV, SBC, SB, VC, CV, Bank, Silicon Valley Bank, as these banks did, they pulled the rug and they corruptly get money, but they do unjust things to the people. How many of you feel like the ground underneath your feet has been shaking? You've been shaking, you've been quaking, you've been going through a test, and you're shut that you're crying out, calling out, looking to the Lord for breakthrough. I want to talk to you, friends. The Lord is releasing answered prayers in this time and season. He sees you with favor. He's not ignoring you, friends. He's not far, far away. He's not distant. It is not lost. Hope is not lost. Jesus did not die just so he could die. He died so he could be born again so you can rise again. And this is a season where you are being born again. This is a season where you are being birthed into a new mantle, a new name, a new creation, a new glory. This is a season where you're coming out totally different. I'm telling you friends, April, May, and June, second quarter, Q2, this is going to be a season of mega miracles. And did you know that right now we are in the 50 days of Omer, otherwise known as the counting of the Omer? Right from the beginning of Passover, we have 50 days up to Pentecost, 50 days up to Shavuot. And of course, Pentecost, Shavuot, it means harvest. It stands for the feast of the harvest because that is when on Mount Sinai, the law of God, the 10 commandments was given to Moses. And Moses came down with a glory on his face. Come on, you're gonna come down differently. You're gonna be different. You're gonna show up different. 
the glow, the glory on your face from your innermost being, it's going to be different. You're going to shine brightly, vibrantly. You're going to manifest the glory of God like you have not yet seen nor experienced ever had before in your life. Everything's changing. And this is a season of 50 days of countdown of the Omer. The countdown to Jubilee. Because 50 stands for Jubilee. The Jubilee anointing. Debts will be canceled. Lands will be returned. People will be set free. There'll be rest, great joy, celebration. Come on, somebody. It's a countdown to the harvest. But in midst of the counting or the countdown of the omer, we're being tested. We're being pressed. And I believe right now, God is answering prayers. He's about to answer you, my friends. I declare it as a man of God. Are you ready for full circle? For the comeback anointing? Are you ready to come back differently? To return as a new creation? To come back? Here I am in Oregon. Hallelujah. Are you ready to take the gates of your enemies? To take the territories of those who tried to curse you? Come against you? The spirit of delay is being broken. And if you feel like you've been discouraged, if you feel like there's been an attack against you, there's been a warfare, there's been unusual shifting and shaking in your life, then I want to pray for you because God is about to break those things and release acceleration. Your prayers are being accelerated and they're also being answered. God is giving you the desires of your heart. And what is it that you want most? What is it that you're crying out to God most? I'm telling you, friends, in his open heavens breakthrough broadcast, all you have to do is lift up your hands, surrender to the Lord, worship him, and receive. Are you ready to receive? I want you to lift up your hands right now, friends. Lord, I thank you right now. God, I ask you that you would hear the cry of the widow, the widow that feels like their loved ones, what they love has died. I ask you that you would turn the prayers of the widow to manifest into outpourings and overflows of answered prayers. I destroy the spirit of lack, the spirit of delay. Any witchcraft, lies, curses, any struggles in their minds, I bind it and I break it now. And I release the fire of God upon your people, Lord. From the top of their head to the soles of their feet, Shana Mata, I declare right now that the atmosphere in your room, in your home, in your car, in your workplace, it is changing right now. There are angels being released to you. And the realm of the angelic is swirling and twirling. And the realm of the angelic is coming over you right now. Every single person who is connected to the sound of my voice, I declare now, loosen, release fire of the Holy Ghost. Right now, in the name of Jesus Christ. Rakasota, marabosata. And I declare now that the heavens will not be closed but the heavens will be opened for you. That God will open up the heavens and he will come down. That God will open up the heavens and manna will manifest. Quail, hail, lightnings, thunders, voices from the throne of God. I declare an opening. I declare an open door. I declare right now that God is about to open the heavens all around you in the mighty name of Jesus. Shoo! Get ready for recompense, for full circle, divine appointments. What is the cry of your heart? What is that prayer request that is so deep in your soul? I want you to comment right now. I want you to write out the desire of your heart, that prayer request that is deep in your heart right now. I want you to write it out. 
and I'm going to agree with you. Write it out right now in his broadcast. And I'm going to agree with you that the Lord is going to use unjust, evil, wicked leaders, people in your life around you to bless you and to give you what you need. God will use people to give you what you need. And you know what? God will use evil people to give you what you need. If you believe it, say amen. So I want you to write it out. Write it out right now. Amen. Full circle. Recompense. Prodigals. Hallelujah. Whole family to be saved and set free. My children's salvation and prosperity. I come in agreement right now to get married. So it shall be for a place to live. To walk and see in my purpose this season. Amen. Come on, write it out right now. Complete healing and sleep. In Jesus' name, receive it. Reconciliation. Salvation for my family, a job. Been jobless for years. Well, we break that curse now. In Jesus' name. Shanaman de Sata. Reconciliation with my son, Luke. Guess what? I played golf with a young man today named Luke. Breakthrough and awakening in the mountains. Yes. Shut up, mama, mama. Financial breakthrough. Salvation for family. For a church building. Amen. I'm in agreement with you, Apostle Barbara. Family restoration, reconciliation. Amen. Salvation of family and workmates. Whole family salvation. Come on, comment below. Write it out. Declare it. And it shall be established. Restoration for family, finances, healing, and marriage. Pray for work and new season decisions to be made. Jesus. Amen. We're in a season of promises being fulfilled. The desires of our hearts being answered. Marriage, complete healing. Hallelujah. Deliverance in our family members. Serababarata, family salvation. Business to prosper. Become a kingdom financier and a homeowner. Amen. Come on, somebody. Does anybody have faith here in this place? Does anybody have faith in this atmosphere? Complete family salvation. Amen. You will be soul winners. Yes, your salvation, restoration of your family. Destiny partners. Hallelujah. I declare now the veil is being lifted off of your face. The veil is being torn in two. Whatever separated you, slowed you down, delayed you, is now being rendered and is now being ripped and torn into pieces. Revival for Canada. Break the addiction, Lord. Godly husband. Kingdom. Job for my son, Tyler. Breakthrough for my brothers. Bloodline. Amen. Breakthrough. Family salvation. Favor of the Lord in our lives. Amen. Whole family deliverance. Destiny helpers. Restoration of marriage, family, salvation. In Jesus' name, destiny partners. Come on, lift up your hands and declare it. Before the counsel of God. Declare it and receive it. Future husband, Lord. Financial deliverance in every area of my life. Amen. Prodigal to come home. Jesus, we declare it to be done. We declare it to be done on earth as it is in heaven. On earth as it is in heaven. And you know what? Every prayer we pray in his name, it shall come to pass and it will be fulfilled. That's the words of Jesus. So either we are not praying his will or we're praying, or either we're praying as well, or we're praying our own will. Thank you, Lord. Sharababosa. I declare every single warfare that's against your people will be broken and dashed into pieces. Thank you, Lord. Shikarabatarabrata. The veil and the spirit of blindness is falling off of you right now. 
Thank you, Lord. Open doors and open heavens. The Lord is about to answer your prayers, friends. I declare today on the Shabbat as a man of God, April 14th, double seven, double seven. It's the double, double anointing, double anointing of perfection on this 14th day, double perfection, double completion. I declare now God is doubling the perfection and the completion of the saints. Thank you, Lord. Sarah Babrota. Weight loss for my youngest son. I'm going to read this verse one more time. Amen. The Bible says here, Luke 18, verse 7. And will not God, and will not God bring about justice for his chosen ones? who cry out to him day and night, will he keep putting them off? I tell you, he will see that they get justice and quickly. Someone say quick justice. I tell you, he will see that they get justice and quickly. Quick justice, accelerated answers, accelerated fulfillment, Rapid, quick, accelerated. My goodness. Come on, I need you to say quick justice. It's happening quickly, friends. It's coming quickly. It's coming sooner than later. It's coming now. It's now. Revival is now. It's immediate. They were immediately healed when they came before Jesus. They were immediately healed. Hallelujah. Quick justice. I tell you, he will see that they get justice and quickly. Who's he? God. God will see that you get quick justice. Hallelujah. Come on, I want you to clap your hands and praise the name of the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Father, I come in agreement right now. And I ask you to touch your people, cover your people with the grace and the glory of God. And I thank you that your word is true. Day and night, night and day, he who cries out, will he not give you justice for his chosen ones? Are you one of his chosen ones? Are you one of his chosen ones? The little old nobody lady widow. Because of her persistent faith, she did not stop praying. She did not relent. She was not content with one slice of the pie. She wanted the whole kahuna. She wanted the whole pie. You're not going to compromise. You're not going to relent. You're not going to give up. Always pray and do not give up. And according to verse 3, grant me justice against my adversary. That was the plea, the cry of the widow. The widow came before the unjust judge and said, grant me my justice against my adversary. Whatever, whoever is coming against you, God is going to grant you victory, justice, and breakthrough. If you believe it, say amen. Lift up your hands, friends. Lord, I thank you. Bless your people now from the top of the head to the soles of the feet. Let the fire of God come. And I thank you for the acceleration of prayers being answered, being manifested, being heard and coming quickly. I prophesy now, I prophesy now that by the end of this month, hear me now, by the end of the month of April, you will see a number of things come to pass. 
I'm going to say it again. I prophesy now. By the end of this month, April, you will see a number of things come to pass by the end of this month, April. And as well, I see a completion of things. Some of you are being released from jobs, relationships. It's a closing of a book, a closing of a chapter. Some of you are being released from an assignment. So there's a shift and a change. But even by the month of April, many things are going to come to pass. Amen. Doors are closing, but new doors are going to open. I'm speaking to your destiny right now. New doors are going to open by the end of this month. And the desires of your heart are going to be answered and fulfilled. You will no longer be a widow. But you will experience resurrection life. By the end of this month of April, I prophesy a number of personal heart desires. Even now, listen, by grace through faith, some of you are receiving that grace right now. That realm of breakthrough right now. If you receive it, say amen. That realm of some of you, I'm telling you this weekend, you're, you're catching it strong right now. And some of you are catching it right now. And even by this weekend, get ready for a call, for a message, an inbox. You've got mail. Get ready for an email that says all your debt has been canceled. Your credit score has increased hundreds of points. This has been expunged. This is done. This is even by the end of this weekend. Some of you are going to be shocked. Quick justice. Quick justice. Quick justice. Rapid answers. Clarity is coming. Clear instructions are coming. Some of you have been in a funk, a cloud, a mind fog, an emotional fog. It's like you feel like your well is plugged up. It's going to be unplugged now. Clarity is coming. Even by the end of this weekend, a number of you are going to experience mega breakthrough. And you better testify. Don't be like the other 10 lepers who did not come back, but be like that one who came back and testified and praised the Lord. I'm telling you, friends, some of you are catching this so strong that even by the end of this weekend, you're going to have answers to those prayer requests. And I declare now by the end of this month, get ready, friends, get ready to cross off your prayer points because what's the point of prayer points it's not to always pray and keep no the point of prayer points is for them to be fulfilled and for you to cross them off and say god did that you know when look at that let me go back to my journal god answered that prayer request on april 14 2023 God answered that prayer request. Come on, somebody. I was in a pit. I was in a mire clay, but he heard my cries and he delivered me. God answered that prayer request, that petition in April 14, 2023. And my goodness, I was about to give up. I was so discouraged, so stressed out. But you know what? God answered. I thought it was delayed. I thought it was never going to happen. But God answered that one too by April 30th, 2023. Are you ready? Come on, are you ready? I could throw a shoe right now. Are you ready? Do you receive? Amen. I'm telling you guys, God is sending things up for you. God is setting up rooms and realms for harvest for you. God is setting up major breakthroughs, blessings, harvest for you. We are in 50 days of war, 50 days of counting down to Pentecost harvest. 
to Jubilee. It's almost a countdown. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, Houston, we have an answer. We have a solution. If you receive it, say amen. Quick justice. Quick answers. Quick returns. The thing you've been waiting on is coming to pass. The thing that felt delayed. And you know what? God's timing is perfect, friends. The timing of the Lord is so perfect. Jesus. A lot of it is protection. It's protection. In his infinite, utmost wisdom, it's protection. So Lord, bless your people. I rebuke the spirit of delay and discouragement and unbelief. And I thank you for faith to be persistent like the widow uh, and will not God bring about justice for his chosen ones who cry out to him day and night will he keep putting you off I tell you no he will see that you get justice and quickly he will see he will see to it himself that it gets delivered to your doorstep he will deliver it himself he will go out of his way out of his his he will go the lengths he will go out of his way he will go out of his way to make sure that you get what you deserve because of grace because of mercy amen he will see to it he will see to it he will see to it you know what that reminds me? It's like, it's like you go to a restaurant and the food comes out bad. The server is mistreating you or not serving well. And then the manager comes out and says, I will see to it that you get the best, most fresh, outstanding presentation of our food from the chef. And I will see to it myself that you get the best fine dining treatment. I will see to it myself. That's God. I said, that's my, that's my daddy. That's my heavenly father. That's my Jesus. If you receive it, say amen. Well, friends, thanks for watching today. Listen, real quick. Remember, I'm here in Salem, Oregon. Tonight and tomorrow, Salem, Oregon. Next week, I'll be back in Grand Junction, Colorado. And April 27th to the 29th, we are doing our Open Heavens Power and Glory Conference in Orange County, California. Myself, Evangelist John Ramirez, and Jake Hamilton. It's going to be mega, super, it's going to be incredible. So if you need a touch of God, if you need deliverance, if you need to go to the next level, be around these glory carriers. Be around these giants. These giant killers, get in the glory, get in the atmosphere. But that is April 27th to 29th, amen. Open heavens, power and glory. Drive in, fly in. Do what you gotta do to be there, friends. Drive in, fly in, crawl in, amen. Or you could join us online, be a part of the online community, but you must register, amen. You must register. So I beseech you, Brethren, come and get in the glory. Can't wait to see you. If you're going to be a part of our Open Heavens Power and Glory Conference, I want to say I'm, I'm joining. I want to say I'm joining. Amen. You go to the event, bright, go to the link, woman of God. Vicky says, I'm joining. Prophetess Ivana. Rob Filler. Patricia Sanchez. Claudia. DD. Amen.
Jubukila, Tamara. You must register to join, friends. You must register. Be a part of the move. Be a part of what God's doing. Don't miss out, I'm telling you. He's doing a new thing on the earth. And I want to be a part of what God's doing. Pastor Sharon. Marilyn. Olga. Deborah Walker. Indra. Thank you, Lord. Ashley De La Garza. Listen, this guy, Devesh Jot, I'm praying for you, buddy. <laughs> I don't know who the heck you is. I'm about to block you. Chanel Jackson, Mitz, Mitz, Mista. Kimberly Amsterdam, yes, you could join online. Amen, Lisa Cruz. Driving, flying, crawling, do whatever you gotta do. Edward Aquino. If you enjoyed today's word and received, say amen. Glory. Sarababata. Well, friends, thanks for watching today. Please give this broadcast a share. Follow me here on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok. All have different content. Love you. Bless you. Happy Friday. Shabbat Shalom. And I'll see you soon.